Hi and welcome to Winbot Boxing Club's channel. I'm Dave and if this is the first time that I'm in, I'd like to say welcome and just let you know that we produce boxing content on quite a regular basis. So if you like the sound of that and don't want to miss another video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it and you'll be notified every time we post a video. Right, let's jump into today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at simultaneous counterattacks, And that basically means attacking at the same time our opponent initiates an attack. Our opponent is always most vulnerable when they're throwing a shot. So it only makes sense to exploit that vulnerability uh, in a simultaneous attack of our own. So we're going to look at a handful of shots or a handful of counterattacks against an orthodoxy's jab and a handful of counterattacks or simultaneous counterattacks against an orthodoxy's rear hand. So let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so the first simultaneous attack we're going to look at is our opponent's jab versus our jab. So our opponent is going to jab for the head. I'm going to slip off the centre line, the jab straight down, I'll score and she won't. So she'll just jab straight down the middle, boom, and I'll just jab straight down the middle. So she misses, I score. So throw it straight at my head, boom, perfect. And again, boom. All right, so as you can see, I've taken my head off the centre line. She obviously would be a clenched fist there, but I don't want to hit George. Um, I've slipped out of the way, obviously I've got a lot longer reach. I've slipped out of the way, she's missed. One more time, jab for jab, boom. All right, so I'm safe, She's uh, she's been hit, I've scored a shot. All right, so let's look at that now in more of a sparring situation. Okay, so the second one we're gonna look at again is against our orthodox opponent's lead hand. This time we're gonna slip inside and throw the rear hand over the top, all right? This is a great shot, um, taller, smaller, doesn't matter. Uh, it's a great shot to, uh, to use. If you've got a slightly shorter range, you might wanna step in. If you've got a slightly longer range, you can just dip the head inside and throw the right hand over the top. So, George is gonna slowly throw the jab. I'm gonna come inside, slip inside, and throw the rear hand. So ready to do it from the other side as well. Okay, so she throws the jab, boom. I come on the inside and I make sure that I'm not hit, but I'm hitting, make sure I'm not slapping. And again, she throws it, boom. And again, boom. And again, boom. One more, boom. So you see I've slipped inside, I'm landing my shot. She's obviously a country mile away from landing hers. Okay, so let's see that in a sparring drill. Okay, so the last one we're going to look at is uh, again to the lead hand. This time we're going to slip inside, so towards the center of the body. Then we're going to counter with a screw shot. All right, so as she throws her jab slowly, that was slow. As she throws her jab slowly, boom. So I've slipped inside now, so we come on the other side, might be easier to see on the camera. So as she's thrown it, I've slipped inside. Normally dangerous because you've got the backhand, so you've got to be quick with this. So as, she, as I slip inside, boom, I then let go of a screw shot. Okay, so it's not a jab. There are other videos to show you how to do a screw shot. Um, but we'll do it again and see as he throws, boom. So I, I slip inside, drop the weight to the lead foot. Some, I might even pivot, but again, that's showing how to do a screw shot. I land my screw shot here. One more time, boom. One more time, boom. All right, so that's slipping aside, throwing the screw shot. So again, let's see that in sparring. Okay, so now let's move on to simultaneous attacks against the rear hand. So, so I'm sorry, orthodox versus orthodox. Opponent throws the rear hand, slipping outside, nice straightforward one this, slipping outside of their rear hand, landing our rear hand. And again, I'm just gonna go for the top of the head guard, so as she throws it, boom. And again, as she throws it, so I take my head clean off the center line. Obviously now I've got other shots I can come in with, but we worry about that too much now. As she throws it, boom. So I wait for her to initiate, as I see it coming, I take my head off. I'm not leaning back, although I've got long arms, I'll probably be all right. I'm not leaning back. If I lean back, I could pull my arm out of range. If anything, I lean forwards, put the weight over the front foot a bit more, and then land that backhand. Okay, so let's see that one now. So moving on to the next one, it's very similar uh, to the one we've just done, but this time we're gonna throw the rear hand to the head. 
You can take your head off the centre line or you can just drop underneath your opponent's rear hand. So if I just drop underneath, she throws the right hand to the head. I do technically slip as well, but I'm well clear of that. So I come up, as she throws it, boom, down I go. There she throws it. But I can just drop straight down and throw the right hand. I don't feel massively comfortable doing that. I can just drop straight down. I like that little step off, drop down at the same time and then catch the body shot. She misses, I score. Let's have a look. And the very last one we're gonna do is more of a bent arm shot to the body now. So it's more of a hook than an uppercut, but it's kind of, well, I suppose it's kind of in between. Again, waiting for our opponent to throw that rear hand. We're gonna take a wider step out, make sure that we close the gap to let our rear hand go. So we'll do it nice and slow to demonstrate. So if she throws her right hand, I'll come in, head right off the center line, and I'll throw to the body. A little bit faster, boom. And again, boom. And again, boom. And again. Oh, and again, oh. Okay, so there you, you can see it's a bent arm shot to the body going underneath her right hand. Okay, let's see that one inspiring. Okay, so that brings us into the tutorial. Uh, thanks very much. Hope you got lots from it. If you've got any questions, just chuck them in the comment box below. And before you go, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when we bring out our next video.